everyone, it's Lindsay J. We are at another week of circuit training. This week it's gonna be body weight, low impact, and it's gonna be hit style Tabata. Hope you enjoy. Get ready. So we're gonna start with a big inhale up. Warm up. Inhale up. We're gonna come down, inch worm out. Hold our plank. Come back and roll it up. One vertebrae at a time. We're gonna do it again. Come down, inch worm out. Hold. Come back. Roll it up. Again. more time. Try to get one more in. Just squeezing that core when we come to a plank. Roll it up. Okay, go ahead and keep your legs nice and wide. Arms out. We're going to come down a touch. Come up, make sure that back is nice and straight. We're keeping our shoulders rolled back in a neutral position. Arms strong, nice, nice straight line. to a rocking butt kick right here. So just start loosening up those sides, those legs, get those arms going. So this workout from start to finish is going to be right around 40 to 45 minutes. It's going to be easy on our joints, but we're still going to get our heart rate up and we're going to get that uh, body weight resistance strength toning in as well. up, bring that knee up, you're pulling down all the way through. Circuit fans, 
go ahead and start with a quicker pace march. We're going to do a speed skater first. It's up to you how much of a jump you'd like to add in there, but so we're, we're going to keep it low, low yes, impact. Yes. So side to side, big step, side to side. And we're still going to go for speed. We're trying to go as quick as we can. Still Tabata style, hit style is as quick as you can, still keeping a proper form. But we're going to show you the intensity doesn't have to be hardcore jumping, but you can still get that heart rate up even keeping it low impact. Go ahead and march it out. We're going to go down to a plank. All right. We're going to twist those knees so it comes up, opposite elbow. Keep that core nice and tight. Hands are about underneath your shoulders. Maybe a little, a little above that. Nice strong core. Go ahead and bring it up. March it out, we're gonna do a squat. With a touchdown in the middle. Exercise. So squat touchdown, bring it together, switch sides. Down. We're going to bring it back up. We're finishing the circuit with the squat touchdown. Try to keep those feet moving so our heart rate is going to drop. Squat together. We switch sides. Step. 
Eight seconds. Rest. Okay, march out right here. Modified plank jacks, okay? We're here. Exercise. Come out and tap. Toe taps. Toe taps. I want that back to be nice and flat. We're using our core to support our back, support that nice flat back. Touch, touch, touch. Rest. Lifting it back up again, we're coming into a lunge with a knee raise. So we're gonna stay on the same leg so I'm going to start with my left leg planted first. It's up to you what you want to start with. Exercise. So we lunge, lift, lunge, lift. Back is slightly leaned forward, but nice and straight. Lift. Our front knee, it basically lines up with our second toe, so it's a little bit, um, you know, a little bit in front of our toes or right in line with our toes. Lift, lift. Working on our balance, which is also really important. March it out. Going back to the crab walk. Number two, wide steps with a modified jumping jack. So we are exercise. Bend down, then we kind of stand up. Bend down, stand up. Wide step. One more in. Rest. All right, modified plank jacks right here or toe taps. Okay, remember we're keeping proper form. Try and go as quick as we can. Tap, tap, squeezing that core. Switching sides. Exercise. Down, lift. Almost on a circuit two already. Lift. Lift. Keep that breath nice and steady. March it out. We got 30 seconds rest. Going into circuit three. Recovery. <coughs> burpees next with the push up. So we're walking the burpee out. Push up. Walk burpee in. Stand up. No jump. Exercise. So down, walk, walk, push up, walk, walk, stand. You can modify that and come down, push up, walk, walk. Okay, walk we'll march it out. In and out squats. Okay, kind of the same with the touchdown. Exercise. But no touchdown. So out, in, out, in, out, oops, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. Ten seconds. Okay, march out. We're gonna do 
uh, inchworm planks. Okay, so I walk it out. So walk it out, plank hold, squeeze, walk it back. Come up, walk it out, plank, squeeze, walk it back. Up, squeeze. walking burpee push-ups exercise so coming down push up walk it back reach down push up walk it up reach very similar to what a modified jumping jack would be. Exercise. So out, 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 out. Here you can over more. Out, out. Remember it's for speed. All the modified. Quick, 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 quick. Step out, out. March it out. Push up with a twist. Exercise. Push up, twist it up. Push up, twist. Squat down, punch at the top. Alternate the arms then. So just Exercise. squat, punch, squat, punch. Squeezing that core. Strong hands, or strong arms, rather. Strong, tight core. Rest. March it out. 
Going back to our modified star jumps or modified jumping jacks. Four times. Here we go. Exercise. Out. 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 Yeah, 15 seconds right here. Push, push, push. Rest. Going into our push up with the twist. Okay, you can always keep it modified. All right. Exercise. Push up. nice and flat, core nice and strong, Rest. all right, squat with a punch, here we go, exercise, legs are just a little bit wider than your hips, okay, again, our knees, are right at that second toe, or a little bit past your toes, or right in line with it, okay? Nice strong core, back is slightly leaned forward, but still nice and straight. Rest. All right, so that was circuit four. Going into circuit five, we've got side lunge. Reach up to no. recovery. Here we go. Side lunge. Exercise. Side lunge, reach. Side lunge, reach. We're alternating. Side lunge, reach. Stay laying down, sorry. Stay laying down. We're gonna do it outer leg pulses up. Okay. Exercise. Let's pulse up. 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 Try to balance your body so we're not wobbling all over the place. Reach up. Exercise. Side lunge, reach. Side lunge, reach. Workout, we're working arms, Rest. back, 
abs, legs, okay? You don't need any hand weights for that. You don't need equipment for that. Plank, exercise. We reach back, opposite toe, back. Fifteen seconds. Squeeze that core in. Rest. Okay. Should have brought a towel. March it out. Recovery. We're going into circuit six. Okay, which is going to be high knee. So this is going to be kind of like our uh, kickboxing round. We're going to do a high knee with a kick. Here we go. Exercise. High knee, kick and switch. High knee, kick. Thank you. High knee, kick. High knee, kick. High knee, kick. High knee, kick. Going for speed. How many can you get in? All right, 15 seconds. Engaging that core. Start it out. We're going to do a side kick with a, a toe touch. So I'm going to start with the side. Exercise. Side kick. Same side. Stay on the same side. Side kick, toe touch. Side kick, toe touch. Fifteen seconds. Okay, we're gonna do punches. So remember what side you just did. So that we alternate the other side here. Exercise. So keep your feet moving. Punch it out. Core nice and tight. Nine seconds. Rest. Side kick. Now we're up there changing sides this time. Okay, so I did my right side last time. I'm going to now do my left. Exercise. Side kick. Touch my same foot, the toes that I'm kicking with. Yeah, eight seconds. Right. So, we got punches. 
punches, keeping those feet nice and light, keeping them moving and tapping. As you're punching, core nice and tight. Punch it out, nice and tight. left. Recovery. We're going to do a V-step. We're coming out, out, and then if you want to change it up, we go in. Leading with the same foot each time. Exercise. Out, out, now bring it in. Out, out, and in. And then once you've got that rhythm, okay, four time. How many steps can you get in? It's 30 seconds. Five seconds. Yes. March it out. Tricep dip. So we're gonna be here, okay? Exercise. Up on our heels. I try to come down, down, down. Ten seconds left. Dip, dip, dip. Plank right here, coming back into a plank. I know we've done lots of planks, but it works your arms and your back, so it's a great workout. We're in a plank exercise. You lift your leg up, bring it in, and switch up, bring it in. Seconds. Rest. All right, we're planking next, and then you're going to stay on the ground because it's going to be abs, okay? So here we go. Exercise. I plank, raise my leg, and bring it in. Raise, bring it in. Squeeze in that core. Seconds. No, those arms are getting tired. Yes. 
Go ahead and get mats out if you have floor mats or you're beating and lay a beach towel down. Mats are to help protect carpets, protect your floor. And also if you have a hard carpet and you don't have, or if you have hard floor and you don't have carpet, it's just to give you some padding. Okay. All right. Exercise. So we're gonna be down here, okay? Down, we're gonna do side, side, or side, middle, side. Side, middle, side. Rest. Okay. Now I'm gonna come basically on either side of my mat with my legs, okay? Exercise. Lift up, come to a point, and down. To a point, and down. Working those hip flexors. As well as your abs right now. All right, this time we're gonna do side to side obliques, okay? I'm reaching for those ankles. You're gonna have your hands behind your head if you wanna support your neck, or you can reach for your ankles. Try to keep that upper back off your mat. You're supporting your upper half with your lower half, okay? And a way to help with that is think about the muscles you're trying to work, and that helps engage them interesting but that's how I find helps me when I'm concentrating on the muscle group that I'm supposed to be working it helps engage them just a little yes. bit more go ahead and rest that neck okay we're gonna go back to the side middle side with our legs here we go exercise sides of our mat or you just space out those legs you come up and check the legs. Mind over body. Finish out this circuit. It's your last one. Okay, last one of the day. We've got to get that core in. Core supports our body, it supports our, in our internal organs, it supports our spine, okay? A lot of times when you have back pain, especially lower back pain, it's because our core doesn't have the strength that it needs, okay? Obliques right here, Exercise. side to side, reaching, squeezing our side. This is our obliques right here, squeeze, squeeze. I hear little feet upstairs. They'll be coming down here shortly, I'm sure. And rest. I want you to, we're going to tilt our pelvis, make sure that pelvis is tilted so that our back, our entire back is just uh, pressed against our, the floor, against the mat. Okay, engaging those lower abs, even just laying here. Okay. Take a couple deep breaths. You are finished with your workout. You guys did awesome. Done. Great workout. You
You spent 39 minutes, 48 seconds exercising. So, as she just very, mono very monotone, but I told you, you worked about 40 minutes, okay? What we're gonna do, let's sit up, okay? We're just gonna stretch just a little bit, and then just definitely stretch throughout the day, okay? So I'm gonna do a mermaid. If you guys are able to bend your knees like this, she's gonna come over here, honey. So I learned this, it was, they called it a mermaid stretch, okay? So if you're able to get your knees like this, okay? I'm going to, let's see, I'm gonna come up like that, I see. Okay, so you're gonna come over, we're gonna stretch, okay? Okay, I'm gonna take this hand, I'm gonna bring it back behind me. I'm gonna take this opposite arm, reach up, bringing that pelvis up off my mat. I'm gonna be stretching out my legs, stretching out my back and my core. Okay, go ahead and bring it down. Let's do it again. We're gonna come back and over, stretching out our back, our spine. Okay, go ahead and bring it back behind you. Reach up and over. Then bring it down and switch sides. Okay, gentle on those knees. We come over. Come, reach back behind you. Opposite arm comes forward. Forward, we're kind of reaching back. We're popping up those hips. Okay, bring it back down. Let's do it again. Reach up and over. Hope you guys liked the low impact, no jumping. But I could definitely tell even without jumping, keeping things um, easy on my knees. I got a great workout and I got that heart rate up. I'm sweaty. Um, definitely got toning in. Okay, come back, got my cardio in. All around well-rounded, 40 minutes of working out. And uh, definitely a workout that you could do anywhere. You could do it on vacation. You can do it in a small apartment room. Um, it's pretty versatile, which is nice. All right, so what we're going to do now is let's turn it. Let's go ahead and stretch out our hips, okay? I'm going to keep my leg bent. I'm going to uh, straighten out my other leg, okay? Once you feel that stretch and we, you've held it for a little while, you can always come down just a little bit further if able. Definitely don't want to stretch over stretch muscles because that can cause an injury. So never over stretch. If you feel like it's, if you are stretching, if you are at your, the max or close to your max of stretching, just hold it there and then gently release it. Okay, let's go ahead and release. Yeah. Let's go ahead and switch legs. Okay, let's straighten that leg. Okay, we start off up, okay? So arms are straight, holding ourselves up. Yeah. 
You gonna do it too? Good job. Mm. <laughs> and then if you feel like once you've held that long enough, you've got a little bit extra room to go, you can always lower it. <clears throat> but again, we never wanna overstretch. Listen to your body. Listen to what your body is telling you. Because if you're in tune with your body, you will know when, when things are too much or when you can go a little bit harder. Okay. You know, as I'm getting more and um, more into my fitness journey and um, it's your body of one body this whole life and um, it's good to get to know it, you know, get to know, get to know your body and, um, you know, it'll, it'll definitely let you know when it needs rest. Um, and it's, it's important to stay in tune, in tune with your muscles, with your joints, um, you know your body best. And so if you are jumping and just something doesn't feel right. Body can't. You, <laughs> when can't touch my toes. when um, you're jumping and just something doesn't feel right, it is not worth pushing it. Okay? If something doesn't feel right, it's because something's not right. So relax it more. Turn it to low impact. Daddy can't reach his toes, Mommy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that is <a> silly face. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and face up forward. Let's just end right here, okay? I know we did a limited amount of stretching. Please stretch throughout the day. Drink water. Make sure we're drinking water. It helps your muscles not uh, get too tight. Hydrates uh, your muscles and replenishes what you've lost sweat-wise. Um, really good for your organs. Water is essential. So make sure you're drinking your water. I want you to just sit here back nice and straight. Shoulders rolled back. And it's just relax those hands. I just want some deep breaths. If you did this workout early in the morning, I just want you to breathe really deep in and out and just think about how you want to have your day. You know, if this is halfway through the day or if this is at the end of the day, maybe reflect on some positive things that have happened throughout the day. Okay, get rid of anything that is stressing you out. Just leave it on the floor and move on with your day. Have a, have a good day. Thank you guys so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one. We'll see you soon.